Good morning, fellow Awakeners. We're back at it again. As always, I am Bouncy Bob here with my wife, Brittany. Hi, guys. And uh, as always, we're going to get right into uh, talking about what we're going to be discussing today, mm -hmm. which we've been talking a lot about thankfulness, right? Yeah. And I hope everyone had an amazing Thanksgiving. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully you got some uh, pie and deviled eggs and all that good stuff. <laughs> I think we know. Right? I think we can tell you really like pie and deviled eggs. Yep, you talk about yep. them every week. We're going we're gonna to have some of that soon, <laughs> can we? All right, so today what we're gonna be talking about is being thankful for service. So mm -hmm. people like Pastor and all these individuals here helping us out make these videos for you, all the people that help out at church. So we're being thankful for their service mm -hmm. and also other people that you know help us with things and, and provide a service for us. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. But before we get into that, mm -hmm. we are gonna jump right into our worship. Ooh, yep, can't wait again. So as always, you know, have a look out, see if you recognize any familiar faces, mm -hmm. all right, and let's get up and do that, all right? Okay, well, I'm gonna stretch first. All right, here we go. Here we go. In my wrestling, in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise. You will carry me safe to shore.
job, everyone. I love that. All right. So did you recognize anybody? <laughs> yes. All right. Besides us? Yeah. All right. So now, as always, we're going to get right back into our best buddy, Mr. MC, MC Biblical. Biblical. All right. So let's get pumped up with him. <laughs> okay, we go, let's guys. go. MC Biblical. Biblical. He did Absolutely. an awesome job. He always gets you fired up, like always. <laughs> so now, before we get into this week's lesson, we're going to do a little bit of a recap. Mm -hmm. All right. So last week we talked about the thankfulness for others, mm -hmm. right? And the Apostle Paul showed us to be thankful and taught us that we should always be thankful to the people in our lives and thank God for them as well. Yeah, that's true. So we also talked a little bit about how when we are thankful, you should show it with some kind of actions. So what we were talking about at Thanksgiving, and hopefully everybody did, mm -hmm. things like helping your parents set the table, helping clean up, maybe helping uh, brother or sister clean up toys around the house. Yep. So things like that we talked about being thankful for, and we should show it with some kind of actions. Remember also maybe writing someone a card, saying thank you in a card for something someone yeah, did. Yeah, that's a good one. So even something simple like using your words, like we always said, the easiest mm -hmm. thing to do is just say thank you. Just say thank you. Yep, all you gotta do, yeah. just just say thank you. Yeah, you might think that they already know, but it's always nice to just yep. add it. You can even look over at your brother or sister, or your mom or dad, grandma, grandparent, look over to them, right side, left side, and just say thank you for being there. Thank you for doing Awaken Kids with me. <laughs> all right, and thank you for being here with me. Yes. So. That's, so that's, that's pretty much what we were talking about last week. And then this week, we're gonna jump right into, like I said, being thankful for service. Because without mm -hmm. service, 
a lot of things wouldn't get done. No, you can't have a community without service. Absolutely. And today we're actually going to get our Bibles out. We're going to read a whole story together. So if you don't have your Bible, now would be a really, really great time to get it. So we're going to give you a second to freeze. Right, freeze. And we'll get it on one, two, three, freeze! Okay, I'm so glad that you're back with us. I hope you found your Bibles. I hope you're ready. If you guys can open up to John 13, we're gonna start reading 1 through 11. So read with me. This is called, this story is called Jesus Washes His Disciples' Feet. It was just before the Passover feast. Jesus knew that the time had come for him to leave this world. It was time for him to go to the Father. Jesus loved his disciples who were in the world, so he now loved them to the very end. They were having their evening meal. The devil had already tempted Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. He had urged Judas to hand Jesus over to his enemies. Jesus knew that the Father had put everything under his power. He also knew that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal, he took off his outer clothes, he wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a large bowl. Then he began to wash his disciples' feet. He dried them with a the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter. Lord, Peter said to him, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, you don't realize now what I'm doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you can't share life with me. Lord, Simon Peter replied, not just my feet, wash my hands and my head too. Jesus answered, people who have had a bath need to wash only their feet. The rest of their body is clean. And you are clean, but not all of you are. Jesus knew who was going to hand him over to his enemies. That was why he said not everyone was clean. So in that first section, it's really important to read this passage and understand because just like Jesus told his disciples that they do not yet understand what he is doing, we don't always know what God is doing in our lives. And this was a little bit of a premonition that they were writing in here to show that just like Jesus is cleaning the people's feet, he's going to be cleaning our souls as well and offering us a way, the only way to get into heaven. Um, also, we just have to have faith and hold on tight to God so that we can fully experience all the good and get through all the bad that can happen in our lives. And that's one of the reasons why this is so important. But we're gonna read on and see what else Jesus has in store. Robert, will you read John 13, 12 through 17? Absolutely. Okay. When Jesus finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes. Then he returned to his place. Do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them. You call me teacher and Lord, you are right. That is what I am. I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, so you should wash one another's feet. I have given you an example. You should do as I have done for you. What I am about to tell you is true. A slave is not more important than the master, and a messenger is no more important than the one who sends him. Now you know these things, so you will be blessed if you do them. So basically, if you're wondering why wash people's feet, that might seem kind of strange now, but back in those days, in Jesus' days, people were wearing open sandals and they didn't have roads like we have now. So it was a lot of dirt paths and mud paths, you know, where wagons were traveling. And, very, very dusty times. Yeah, so <laughs> there wasn't paved roads and things like that. So when you would come into someone's house, usually their feet were very dirty. Mm -hmm. Even so, if they took off their shoes. Yeah, so, well, if they had shoes, if not, maybe even sandals. So mm -hmm. imagine even here in Florida, if we're wearing sandals outside and we go walking through the mud, what happens? Our feet get pretty dirty. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to walk in mom and dad's house with dirty feet because we know what happens then, right? Yes. So <laughs> like back then and now, now we take our shoes off, but back then they wash their feet. Yes. They would actually normally send the servant or the lowest person in the household to come and wash the feet of all their guests. But Jesus shows us that we should help each other. It's not the job of just the servant to help. We can and all should help one another, no mm -hmm. matter how important we think we are. Absolutely. So we're all God's children. Absolutely. So now what we're going to move on to is we have a little uh, thankful prayer that we're going to work with through you, and it has some motions. So you should have it. Hopefully, maybe you've practiced a little bit, but do your best, and you can follow along with us, and we'll do that prayer for you. And if you want a copy, it's actually in the email that was sent over. So have your parents check their email for the packet of November activities. 
All right, so everybody ready? Okay. This is the thankful prayer. Thankful prayer, okay. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> so we say, Father, Father, Father up, up above, above thank, thank you, you, thank you for your love. love. Thank you for my parents and my teachers too. I can see and I know these came from you. Father, Father, up above, thank you, thank you for your love. Thank you for my meals and my warm bed too. I can see and I know these came from you. Father, Father, up above, thank you, thank you for your love. Thank you for my friends and new. Old and new. Old and new. Old and new. I can see and I know these came from you. Thank you, Father, for your gifts to me. To me. Amen. Amen. Woo! All right, so. That was a little rusty. <laughs> yeah. So practice it, learn it, and yeah. you can do the motions probably better than us. Yeah. Right? So. I know you guys are going to do a great job. All right, but good job doing the best you could, yeah. like me. <laughs> so. oh, thank you so much for spending this time with us. We're so thankful. And now we're going to bow our head and pray over the lesson. Right. So join us. Thanks, guys. Dear Lord, thank you so much once again. You've given us this opportunity to meet together. Thank you for our thankful prayer. And thank you for um, letting us learn through John 13. And thank you for humbling us and help us to use that to continue to humble us throughout the week, throughout our lives, so that we may realize no matter how important we think we really are, we're all God's children and we should all be helping one another. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, thank you for tuning in with us again. Yeah, we're very thankful we're very for thankful your presence. For and thank you for uh, not judging me too harshly on my hand motions. Mm -hmm. We're all a work in progress. <laughs> But I uh, hope to see you guys next week and have a great week coming up. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.